So today we're going to talk about charges. We're going to talk about the electrons on the outside of the atom and how that affects the symbols and how it affects the charge of the atom. So here in this drawing we have the clear things represent protons, the black things represent neutrons, and the little E dashes represent the negative electrons. So in this drawing, if we count them up, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 protons. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 neutrons. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 electrons. And so <clears throat> we already know from before that we would look at the proton number to determine what it is. If you get out your periodic table and look for element number 12, it's magnesium. And so we can start the symbol that way. Uh, the number up here then would be the mass number that would give, uh, be achieved by adding the protons and the neutrons together. Uh, 12 and 12 is 24. And then we get to the charge. And so the charge just like uh, up here, we need to see whether this thing has a charge. It has a charge if the protons and the electrons are not even. If it has too many electrons, uh, it'll have one charge. If it has too few, it'll have another. So what we want to remember is that electrons are negative. So they're going to have a minus one charge from each electron. But the protons are positive, so you're going to have a plus one charge from each one. And so those together, they're all part of one atom. And so in order to figure out what the atom's charge is, we have to uh, find out how many protons and how many electrons there are. So if we see that there are 12 protons, we'll say, well, there are 12 protons, but we have to subtract however many electrons there are from that to figure out what the charge is going to be. There are 10 electrons, so 10 negative charges. So you can think of it as 10 adding negative 10. Or, if you don't like to think about negative numbers, you can just think about subtracting 10. You get the same answer either way. And the answer is 2, positive 2. So this actually has a charge. This atom has a charge, and therefore we know we would call it an ion. It's an ion, and its charge is plus two. This is actually why ions have charges. It's because of an imbalance between protons and electrons. Now if we um, gave this two more electrons, of course, then we would have 12 minus 12 is zero. It would have no charge. It would not be an ion. Or <clears throat> if instead we gave it four electrons, we, we could say well, now it's 12 minus 14, and so 12 minus 14 would give us a negative number. And so that would have a charge of negative 2, but those aren't what happened here. We had a uh, <coughs> positive charge. A different thing that people might think sometime is, well, you could make this an ion neutral by um, getting rid of some protons. Some people might say, well, you make it a charge of zero by getting rid of protons, but you can't do that. It has to be the electrons, and here's why. Remember if we said, oh, let's make this neutral by uh, making 10 of each, so 10 protons and 10 electrons. That would make the charge zero, but remember, the number of protons tells you what it is. So this would not be a neutral magnesium atom if you did this, it would be neutral, but it would not be magnesium anymore. We would look, well, what has 10 protons? And we'd look on our periodic table, and we'd see that that was neon. So um, you can't change the proton number without changing the atom. So um, whenever you're counting these things up, <coughs> remember that if you add electrons or remove electrons, that makes it an ion. If you add protons or remove protons, you're not making an ion necessarily. You are changing what kind of atom it is. And so that's something to keep in mind. So I'm going to move over here to this paper. Oh, it's not paper, of course, but uh, an example over here of how you might work a chart <coughs> that would have charge on it. And move this up a little bit. You see that? So here's an example of something with 10 electrons, 11 protons, and 
12 neutrons. You know what? This is stupid. I should stop and make a new video.